To see your website settings, go to Sites and either click the title of the site or create a new website here. Give the site a name. Click Save and Continue. Choose a group connected with this website. Click Save and Continue again. Choose a template. And here is the website. To view the video about all these blocks and this whole builder, please look for the video called Website Builder. This time I'm just going to click Save and Update to go straight to the settings. Of course, one more thing here. If you go to Pages, you have some settings. Once you cl click that little pencil button over here, uh, this took me to the author page, of course. And if I click that pencil button, I have some SEO settings over here and some social share settings. I can change this image. This image will show on my social media. But this time, let's just click Save and Continue. And here are the main settings. So the first thing you can do is change your domain here. For example, let's go with And you can also use this from the drop down and use the domain you already added to MailerLite or add a new one by using this button. You can choose a favicon image here. This shows up in the tabs in your browser. The SEO settings for your whole website, the social share settings for your whole website, and analytic codes, for example, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel. And you can also disable all tracking if you want that. You can turn on your heat map here. Code, in, code injection is a little advanced feature. If you do not what it, know what it is, you don't really need to use it. It's for third-party app code that you need to inject into your website. Once you're done with all of this, just go ahead and click Save and Continue. And here is an overview of all the settings. And the preview is here. You can unpublish it. You can publish a new version if you saved it as a draft. Then you can turn on the double opt-in here. It will make this little feature show up here if you click that. You can see the, the subscription email people will get, the double opt-in email, and they can confirm their email by pressing this button in their inbox. And when they do that, they will get the confirmation page, the confirmation thank you page, which you can edit using this button here, or you can use your own confirmation page. This is usually the place where you want to add a freebie, or a free report, PDF file, etc., etc. And you can also just use, like I said, your own custom page and click Save and then go back to using this page if you don't want to use your page again by clicking this link over here. Now, let's look at the overview again. Here, you can change the settings for the domain. The design is here again. The website settings, the heat maps we were just editing a moment ago. And you can change the people that subscribe to your group through the forms you add to your website by using this edit button over here. Then we have the analytics. And it's zero, of course, for now, but later you'll start seeing this graph move, these, these numbers go up, and you can also look at the analytics for any specific page here. This is the Automation tab, and you can create a workflow that is connected to this specific website by clicking Create a Workflow. Instead of going through Automations and setting it up there, you can do it straight from here. Here are the domains. Now, this is pretty easy to use. You have your sending domains, your landing page, and this is what you're looking for, your website domains. And I have added my domain here. And to add your domain, just go ahead, click this button, uh, yourdomain.com, click Save. Of course, this is just uh, a made-up domain. <laughs> it's in use, your domain, Marcin. I'm just going to call it like that. Click Save. There we go. Manage DNSs. Put this into that part of your hosting company or your register company. Uh, you need to find something called a DNS zone or you, your DNS settings. It's not redirecting your DNSs, it's actually DNS settings. And where you registered your domain name, you might not always be able to change these. You might have to park that domain in your hosting company and then do it there. Usually these companies can help you out if you contact them, they will let you know what you need to do. But basically you need to create a record, an A record, give it this name or find that record with that name and then add this value here. You can just easily copy it from here. And then check DNS records. Now, these don't match because, of course, that was a fake domain, and, of course, I didn't set that up in my hosting company. But once you set this up, press this button and check. This should be all in green. And sometimes you have to wait for a longer time, up to 24 hours, for those DNSs to update. So I'm just going to cancel this. After you have set that up and after you see that little active button here, just click Enable SSL. But for now, I'm just going to delete this here, remove it, and go back 
to my website settings. I'm going to go, let's go back to sites again. And to go back to your settings, just click site. I mean, you just need to click the title of your website. All right. And that was pretty much it. One last thing. If you go to this little cog here, you can rename the site, duplicate it, delete it, edit it. And also if you add a blog to your website, you will see the blog feature here and you will be able to add blog posts there. Look for the video called adding a blog post for that. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.